for this theories in swim bait fishing, I'm, I'm going to talk about a loosely constructed idea uh, that I, I have and I, I get negative about it sometimes like, you know, on the water or I feel like, oh dude, that dude's been sitting on the spot forever. And it's, it's not that they're sitting on the spot and being greedy. I tend to put it more towards you're programming catchable fish to be uncatchable for a certain period of time. The, the thought process behind this is I give bass I think a lot more credit, specifically trophy bass, big bass, the biggest bass that had the most experience on the water. I give them a lot more credit than I think other people do. I tend to think that they, they look at all details. Yes, they're opportunistic feeders, but at the same time, they don't want to die. So they analyze things really quickly. They understand everything that's in their environment. Imagine if you lived in a fishbowl, you would know every single detail about that fishbowl. And in all fairness, that's pretty much what we have here in SoCal is just gin clear fish bowls for the most part. There's, there's a few exceptions, but what, whatever. So just going back to the programming fish to be uncatchable or programming catchable fish to be uncatchable, it's this idea, and I'm guilty of it too, but you pull into a spot, you line up, and you make that perfect cast at that structure that you know is down there or the cover, whatever it might be, but you make that perfect cast. You're bringing it in, you're on it, you've got that pacing going, you know exactly, right? And you get that little, oh, oh, and it gets your adrenaline pumping, you're getting excited. And as that bait gets closer and closer and you're looking in the water, you're staring down there, there it is, that bait. And around that bait is four or five big shadows. Okay, I got followers, I got followers. One of them committed at that time, so it kind of, you know, you had faith in it and they're, they're showing that they're excited. You reel up. You go out there and you see those fish kind of dissipate back and they kind of head back out to that direction that your cast came from. So you fire back out there to relatively the same area that you had just casted and that you got those followers come in. You bring in, you bring in, you bring in, bring in. This time they're not nibbling on it. You're bringing in, you're still on your game, you're still doing that right retrieve. The same thing that got one of them to commit the first time, but this time you bring it in and there's only like maybe one or two followers and they're not the same class fish. They're fish but they're not the same class. And you get there and you're talking to yourself and you're like, I know they're out there. And I saw giants the first time and I know those giants are out there. So you fire out there again. You bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, bring in. This time there's no followers. Well, at this point is kind of that breaking point where I think it kind of separates those guys with a lot of experience to the guys that you maybe are a little bit greener on this and they still kind of let their emotion, their excitement lead them in a direction that they shouldn't. This is just my idea. This is my theories on it. There's no right and wrong, but it's just maybe it's like a subtle nudge in the right direction for some guys that maybe still do this behavior. Maybe there's some that have had, you know, success doing that. There probably are. There's probably somebody that can go, bull crap, blah, blah, blah. I stroke them this way. Good for them. It doesn't work for me. At any rate, after that third cast of getting no followers, instead of leaving, you fire out there. You know there's fish there. You bring it in, nothing. You fire out there again bring it in you sit there for another half an hour showing your bait to fish that are in that area now what i tend to think happens because i give these fish a lot of credit is you're programming those fish to understand that that bait is not real they associate that bait with you at the boat now those two things are connected so to them it's it's a cue of stay away from that that first time around it was a reaction bite boom but then they made that association, lure to boat. It started raising up at this certain thing. They're processing all of that information rather quickly. Their survival depends on their ability to understand threats to them. So after that first time in, those fish established the pace at which that bait swims, and then at what point it starts tracking up to go up to the boat. Second time around, some of those smaller ones, the dumber ones, maybe they followed in, they established that same behavior. By the third time it splashed down, those fish saw it and were like, no, I'm not chasing that thing. We already saw where it leads. They saw that same bait. Now, you can try and combat that a little bit by going, well, I'm gonna gonna throw something else at them. But with highly pressured fish, I feel like more often than not, they've already established that you're in the area. So they kind of seal up. They, and they're just waiting for what they think for you to leave. Again, there's exceptions to this because guys might tie off, they might anchor up and you know, make a cast every 20 minutes. They might cast and let their bait sit out there forever and then start retrieving. 
But let's just be realistic. Most people aren't doing that. They're just steadily firing on those fish. All the while teaching those fish that these lures are fake. And that doesn't just directly affect that guy. That affects, <laughs> this sounds harsh, because, but it's just my opinion. That affects everybody else that's throwing big baits on that specific body of water. You're teaching fish that these lures are fake by showing it to them time and time again, even when they're not interested. Occasionally, you might get one that follows it in again after the 20th or 30th cast. And more often than not, you're just wasting your time in a sense. Now, the idea isn't to sit there and kind of like bang on these dudes and be like, you're doing it all wrong. Cause it's not, it's, it's everybody has their own approach and some are successful, others aren't. What has been successful for me is an approach where I'm very selective about how many casts I make and where I make those casts. And if I get some followers, maybe the first cast, the second cast is at a slightly different angle, but it's gonna kind of come through the same strike zone. Even if I get second, like followers on that second cast, I'll shift positions, whether that's like, hey, I'm gonna back off for five or 10 minutes, make them think I'm playing mind games with fish, which is probably quite insane, but I'm literally playing mind games with them. I'm gonna make them think I'm leaving. And I go, and then I kind of drift back with the wind and then make a cast to the same zone hoping to get one of them to commit to the bait now that it's coming from a slightly different angle and I didn't just bang on them. But then that's the end of it. If I slide back and I make a cast and don't get bit, I'm on to the next spot. The whole goal is to be very selective about how many times I show my lure to the fish. I don't want them getting to the point where they're like, that's fake, that's fake, that's fake. I, d I don't want that. I want them to think every time like, that's the real deal, here I go. Does it always work out? No. Maybe take some of that thought if you're struggling out there and you're a person that likes to kind of milk a spot and sit there for a while and just bang on them and bang on them and, bang them, and you're not getting the results, find spots that hold fish, only present the bait a couple of times, cover those spots rather quickly and just do it throughout the day. So you can hit a spot three or four times throughout the day, but in the grand scheme of it, you're still showing your bait to those fish a less amount of times than if you were just sitting on a spot making cast after cast. I feel like I'm like whining about this, but it's, that's not the intent. The intent is to encourage people to be more successful. And I think they can be more successful by actually showing the bait to fish less, but be very methodical and strategic about how you show that bait and how many times you do. Be precise, be limiting. You don't want them to know it's fake. That's the whole point. As dumb as that might sound, that's the whole point. Proper presentation and you're out.